I'm ready. You ready for this? Above the city, they shine in my spotlight. Commissioner on the rooftop, double H in the night sky. For the sidekicks, we fight for the right cross as we go. For the ninjas, we injure revenge on a phone. From crime alley to radioactive insects, genetic mutations. Weapon X and Jets are evening, arson and crisis. A war for civilization. Here come buddy, narrative blaring through your speakers. Yeah, all the heroes. It's clobbering time. Welcome to Hardly Heroes, a podcast dedicated to movies, TV, and everything geek-related. I'm your host, Buddy. And I am Aaron. And special guest, the one, the only, GOAT. Am I still special? A.K.A. Yeah. <laughs> am I still special? Yeah, you're always a genius. Sorry. It's your boy. Oh. Brandon J. Yep. A.K.A. GOAT Kicks. Yep. A.K.A. Grace of All Time. Bow, bow, bow. A.K.A. Very Black Ranger. Ka-ka-ka. A.K.A. Biz of the Genius. Yes. A.K.A. The Biz. <laughs> A.K.A. Artist formerly known as Rev Goat. <laughs> How Two weeks doing? in a row. Special treat. Yes. And always joining us, our tree, our Groot, our Logan. Now. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hi, Logan. How's everybody? Do? It was it was a little bit of a big week last week. Really? Yeah. Some, what was it? Some things happened. What things? I don't know. Why don't you Certain tell things? us, Mr. Buddy? What? I figured, I just that's been my joke. That really would, I just think it's you know now that he's married, he's not buddy, he's Mister Buddy. That really would have worked better buddy. if we had a show with Michelle. Maybe. Yeah. Dun, you know. I would get it. Let's go. Let me drop it down one time. Let me drop a ten. That was awesome. Not bad. (laughs) (laughs) Not bad at all. Bing. Well, uh, I was blessed enough to have the biz of the genius marry me and my beautiful now wife, wife Michelle. Yeah. Oh, blessings yeah. on blessings on blessings. Wow. He was out there repping the show. And the best part is uh, shout out to our Norway guys, to Sonny and Johnny. Hit me up a little too late uh, to yeah. uh, go live on Hardly Heroes. That's okay. Totally forgot. But uh, the best part that I wanted to tell you guys is right before he starts the ceremony, like getting it all going, he goes, Welcome to the Hardly Heroes podcast. <laughs> it was so lit. It was good. Yeah, Go, that was good. The wedding officiator. Yeah. So uh, just trying. remember, if any of you guys are getting married out there. I'm wiping folks up in these streets, just letting y'all know. Uh, I charge. <laughs> I officially charge forty nine ninety five for my Four, wedding packages. Plus tax? Plus tax. What about then, traveling uh, expenses? Traveling expenses oh, yeah. will have to be paid by you also. And then uh, an additional cost <laughs> for any introductions uh, <laughs> that I need to make. So Okay. Uh, hit me up. You well, know, I know Sonny. I know I'll, Sonny's already married, but what right, if Johnny I, hits you up? I have a question on the package. Yes. Actually, still, yes. I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so the entrance dance that you provide sure. is there? Do I have to pay more yeah. to get yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, to yeah. be gotta, a minute or extra? Like, what's the standard so that comes standard, in the entrance dance? My standard <laughs> entrance dance is okay. like minimum two minutes. Well, maybe one minute. All okay. right. So if you need me to, well, walking out first mm, is. Yeah. Is a flat rate of like fifty bucks. Also, that makes sense. No, like that's I said, good. I hooked. I hooked you up, buddy. Uh, I, I gave. I gave you a lifetime. <laughs> so the dance is just uh, is like for one minute. It's probably about twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> good price deal. That's a walking steal. out first is fifty bucks. Yep. Ooh. Me officiating is four nine ninety nine. That's good. Okay, so it, it it can run you. And like I said, you gotta pay travel fees. I will buy my own outfit. Yep. Nice. You ain't gotta charge for all that, but you know. We'll, and we can we can talk numbers after. It's also ways on if I had a good time or not. So yeah, right. So the, email us in hardlyheroes mm-hmm. at gmail dot com. We'll get you in contact with Brandon mm-hmm. if yeah. you guys want this, and we'll get we'll make this happen. We can make and, a I'll, wedding. and I'll be his handler. Yeah, yeah. 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 Buddy, buddy's my road manager. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Definitely, he's, he's my road manager. So so anybody in Norway, you getting married? Visit the genius, Johnny. Right. What's popping? What yeah, you doing? yeah. You getting married soon, Johnny? Is that what you saying? Let's do it. I'm about to fly out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If we went to Norway, 
Oh, you know, please. All of us would go. I'm a little low. It'd be like, I'm like we'd a, roll deep. <laughs> I'm like a quarter Nor- Norwegian, so I think it would work okay. It would work. Are you a citizen? And, yeah. Yeah. You have any family? Anything out there? I have family in Croatia. Mm. Mm. Is that Norway? No, it's not. Exactly. No. Thank you. Okay. I might have family in. Johnny's Norway. my family. I know. Shout out to Johnny. Right. Yeah. For real. Woo woo. But yeah, uh, it was crazy. So much fun. The wedding was uh, just insane. Was it? I mean, Aaron, I don't know if you remember any of it, but <laughs> it was definitely worth it. We ain't got to go into detail well, I'm about glad it, I'm glad it was. <laughs> but uh, Goat came out I'm first good. and set the tone. Yep. Uh, I think you guys can find some of the videos on my Instagram, mm-hmm. but there's one of me where Brandon, a.k.a. Goat, reels oh, yeah, me reels in. Oh, reels in. Was, hey, can I tell the story about the introduction real quick? No, it's you may like not. Less than one minute. No, you may not. For, so the week prior to that, Buddy I just says, said no. Shut your mouth. Okay. Buddy tells me, <laughs> hey, I want you to come be an intro. I go, no, buddy. I don't want to introduce. He goes, all right, no problem. Fair enough. As I'm trying to get set, <laughs> sitting next to my lovely wife after yep. the wedding, I did my job. I'm good. I'm relaxed at this point. You should be. You earned it. I earned, yeah. my, I earned a moment to relax. Who would dare... I hear this strike you from your relaxation. I hear a sweet voice shout my name. Hello, Brandon. Go, Brandon, from a distance, I turn my head and go, Brandon. "Excuse me, ma'am, I'm I'm off the clock right now. I can't do anything at this moment." <laughs> she goes, "No, you're written in on this chart." I'm like, "Let me see that." Oh, nope, nope, it's nope. A, oh, you're right. It's a business right genius. above where like everything's typed out uh, officially typed out. I have it says it says goat written in, oh, and I'm like, yeah. why is this written in here? She's like, oh, you gotta walk out first. Yep. I'm like, where was this at? She's like, oh, they just told me like five minutes ago. <laughs> so <laughs> these lovely, lovely <laughs> new Nickersons who did not pay for the premium package, no, they not didn't pay for the premium package. No, they no. did not. Suckered me into walking out, but I will say. <laughs> I would do it again in a heartbeat. Oh, good. I for love those it. two. Hey, can you tell them what you came out to? Oh, man. Hey, people weren't even happy about this, and I had to like yeah, play tell, it. But tell the other people, not me. Tell the other people to, what you came out to. Folks, do your Googles right now. Okay. We came out to Duro's Ice Cream Paint Job. Yes. Okay? That's one of them good old, I think, 09, good old Southern <laughs> Cruise uh, ah. uh, uh, classics. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I know we ain't paying for the rights to sing the song, but I'm just no, saying. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. buddy. Rolling like a big, big shot. Chevy tuned up like a NASCAR <laughs> pit stop. I'm telling you. We didn't have to pay for All the, the rights at the big. wedding. So yeah. it's okay. Do a ride good. Yeah. <laughs> it was so lit. But it was good. It was good. But yeah. It Congratulations. Was a, thank you. It was definitely a fun time. It was it was like 2 o'clock in the morning real fast. Oh, dude. Really? Real, real fast. Real so fast. fast. It was 9 o'clock at night real fast for me. <laughs> Aaron went from... Six o'clock to nine o'clock in like this, like this. Bam! Like that. All right. I'm going to put it out for you guys. I'm going to have a real moment. That six to nine yeah, was my favorite Aaron I've ever had in my entire life. Really? Because he came up to me and told me, he was like, I love you. You know, all the crap you give me on the show. It's so awesome. I'm so glad really? to do the podcast with you. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. I say it that? It is so much fun. Yeah. And he was hugging me. And yeah. I was like, who are you right now? I don't yeah. think I hugged you that much. Hey, you hugged me quite a bit. And it was magical for well, me. Because I... And I was like, Aaron, <laughs> is it because I'm getting married you're being like this? And then 902 hit, yeah, and like it was pumpkin. back to the old Aaron. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I don't like, remember mm. any of that, so I don't think it really up. happened. It definitely happened. Oh, no, it definitely happened. I, I just wish the <laughs> listeners could have seen this. Yeah. Well, some of the listeners saw that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> some of them saw Brandon it. saw that. Probably April saw that. Logan definitely saw that. But it was the most fun, and I just want to thank all you guys that were there and that are in this room. Aaron, thank you from six to nine. You're welcome. I wish I could live in those (laughs) hours for the rest of my life with you. Yep. You know who I got along really well before I um, didn't remember six to nine? Alex. Oh. Man, that guy. my boy. I mean, he was helping you with writing shit. He was helping you with tying your shoes. He was just helping you out. Oh, yeah. Oh, friend of the show, Clayton. Yeah. Oh, at he had Clayton. to wipe down all of our shoes. No, 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 no. Not all of us. I refuse to let him wipe down my shoes because I was like, you are were you are above this. Oh, you have to take a photo? No, no, no. He was just doing we it out of the kindness of his heart. 
He was just like, let me wipe down your shoes. I'm like, Clayton, do not wipe down my shoes. I do not care if I have dirty shoes. You will not be a servant to me. Well, and then, you know, Manny was up there as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Manny was there. Manny was looking pretty shot. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Manny. You looking pretty good, my dude. Hey, you know uh, he you. forgot his pants. Oh, When man. we all went to get ready, he's that like, was... I think I got to drive home. <laughs> did he, did he go like, home? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, he had to go home. <laughs> Look, and it, he didn't even drive himself, so he made Alex. Look, can drive I, him can I just can I just point this out? Look, yes, everybody looked really great in our suits, but I think the transformation from me in basketball shorts and a t-shirt mm-hmm. to me in a suit, I think I look the best transformation trans- transformation wise than anybody. I did have somebody tell me that was a good looking bald crew because that's oh, God. bald people. Alex, there. me, me, and James, and James. There we go. We 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 were the we we were great as the bald crew. I just have to say, James was probably the uh, best. The only thing uh, now that it's out on the airwaves and yeah. it's all over for okay. the people that did attend and for our listeners, uh, we did a thing called a cake smash. So you what did. you do is you have two bottles <laughs> or two jars, and what you do is people donate, and whoever gets the most gets to smash it in the other person's face. Okay. So really? just want to throw it out there so? that when it came to, you have two minutes to get all that money. Get that moolah. So the final count was seven hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. To two hundred and eighty dollars. And, oh. so, and so who had what? I totally. Well, I, heard, I, heard, had I, heard, what? I heard some discrepancies. Let's I totally ahead. remember this. So who had what? Who do you? I think? remember that night. I'm gonna guess Michelle had more because I totally remember this vividly. Okay. Let me ask a uh, 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 group. Group Logan. What's what's the question? Okay, Who do you believe ah, had more money <laughs> in their jars since you're not listening. Uh, well, obviously Michelle. I mean, yeah. it's this is what a, a wedding is for the bride. First of all, yes. Michelle is Period. way more. I mean, more... that's the main thing that I remember about the wedding is Michelle was beautiful, right? Yeah, and I don't remember good. any of you fools whatsoever. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's I remember that as, Mich- as Michelle Day. I see, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, Logan. Okay, okay, yeah. you get them points, Brandon. I, I figured because you, you know, know I, I put mean, I do know the answer and I put a solid I I know what I put in that jar yeah and I put it and people were trying to stop me from putting money in that jar how dare and you. I said don't stop me from doing what I got to do in my lifetime you know yep. what I'm saying I'm living my best life over here that's my boy so if I got to put money in in, in Buddy AKA you know Sturles. my dude Sterl put it in his jar I'm doing that that's my you know I, what I'm I would not have put I only, it in I roll I'm a winning type of individual yeah Only oh yeah winners, yeah right? this yeah. is the genius yeah michelle was looking gorgeous as usual sure her wedding day way better stuff. than buddy oh, way yeah. better than buddy oh you know god yeah but that was her whole day no no no. Let's, i understand give, i wanted to give donate my cause to buddies i one know moment. i know i know so but so so buddy give him give him the tally let's just let's just keep it a buck and i won baby but the only reason why i lost is because the Wait. dj said he had never heard of a groom getting that much money and he refused to have me smash cake in her face Wait, because she got her makeup done. You just done. said you won and you lost in the same sentence. Yeah, because they I won, I got the most amount of money, but okay. he wasn't going to let me Got it. smash cake in her face. He okay. was like there's no way but she got her makeup done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but ain't you got, got your no hair makeup. Cut. On. Did you exactly. Hold on, hold on. Before he goes on, buddy, did you get your makeup done for this wedding? No. I did. I got my eye makeup done by your sister Sheila. Thank you very under. much yeah. because I didn't want to look like a zombie <laughs> for your wedding. He looked like hell, but I, I looked great look after the makeup. You did look really good. Thank you, Sheila. Capila. Pretty hell. And really fast, last thing that I'll get to, <laughs> I just want to thank over the waves, over these podcast waves, to. Biz of the genius What's for good? giving me. What's good? Yeah. Something that you guys said I had to wear on this day. Yes. Mm. No, 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 no. We didn't say you had to wear. You, you promised us promise. that you, you would wear. Volunteered. Right. Of your own accord. Yeah. We can go back and check the tapes. I'll check the tapes. No, even though it's all tapes. volunteer. Even though it's all digital. We'll check the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Wind it back. Yep. <laughs> Load it up on the reel. <laughs> I remember that day vividly. We were like, hey, I bet you. You won't wear something Batman on Batman Day. And you're like, 
What? I'll wear something Batman on Batman Day. I don't give a sh- I don't care. I'll, I'll wear it. Her. I had to make sure my boy had something Batman. You did. You know, they and always say something borrowed, something new, something whatever, something so- blue. Something Batman, something blue. Something Batman, something blue. So I came <laughs> with, with the bar where it was originally going to be borrowed, but then I looked at it yeah. and said, you know what? It is so sick. I got to pass it down. Yep. And uh, I know, well, go ahead. You was going to tell the story. So I'm what it was, was it was actually <laughs> a little pendant from Comic-Con. Yes. Yep. In 2004. A pen. A, yeah. pen. a pen. Like a lapel pen. Yeah. Pen. And it not was, pen. Yeah. Pen. 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 It was still on the original card that it came with when he got it in of 2004. Four. Four. Yeah. It was a uh, original comic. I went to the, the hall for um, the Batman Begins. Batman Begins. Yeah, and they, yeah. were, uh, they gave those out. And there's that- like an actual... Like little steel or metal uh, oh. batarang uh, pin. Yeah, so it's, it's basically so it's the ba- it's the bat logo from the Christopher Nolan Batman series, yep. yeah. basically that looks like kind of the batarang that he first kind of is right. like he's he's like cutting uh, himself cutting out, and he's yeah. asking him like why bats because they scare me and then he <laughs> throws it into the wall. It's a pin that's just like that that's about an inch wide that's on a piece of cardboard that says like Batman Begins Comic Con 2004. So it this was just like lit. one of the things that. It, it was just I I saw it before buddy put it on and I was like this is so <laughs> dude dope this is I so cool to have a little an, an artifact like that from one of the yeah. things that just really changed all of media this was one of the things that really started making people take superhero movies seriously and can I just say my favorite Batman symbol is oh, the yeah. two thousand four oh, yeah. when when they st- with the Christopher Nolan Batman symbol my favorite Batman logo ever. We'll have to get into that one day. Like, what's the what's oh, the yeah. best Batman? Because there's logo? like 15 of them, and not just like I mean, like all iterations. Well, yeah, I we mean, should like break that all. Comic down. books. Woo. That'd be uh, a fun discussion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Snyder's but, uh, run, like his his uh, the you know the Batman mm-hmm. Inc. and Batman the 66, Batman 66, Return, it, all that stuff. So I one pinned day. that on my vest, and, and I got a ton of compliments on it. It was ill, bro. It, it was, was good. So, so, oh yeah, and he was. I'll put it on your jacket. I'm like, nah, everybody's need to. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. I needed to be on the. Uh, <laughs> I went in my mind. It was going to be on the other side. So when you flipped it up, it just kind of like showed the Batman oh, logo. Batman. Uh, on the Batman. But yeah, where you had on your vest was dope. Because once you take it off, you're already out of wedding mode. It was just like bam. It's nice. It was a it's badge nice. of honor. And did anyone say Logan looked good that night? Logan looked sharp too. Yeah, Logan came did. in looking like, like Devonair Suave. Dapper. Suave. I looked all right. I was a guy in a suit. Suave. Yeah. I was I'm, so disappointed in myself that I didn't come dressed as Star Lord like I was saying. Oh, that I was going to do. Died. I died. Sh- should have done it. The I whole time I was there, I was so mad at myself. Well, even if you would have switched into that during like yeah. uh, dancing, during I would have died. I would have been so good. <laughs> I'm sure I said you look great, but you know, you, you know who's no, who's to know if I said You it? told said that it tree it, looked, six it looked handsome as well, too. Did mm-hmm. I say that? You looked at the tree and said, you look great. Oh, my God. Look. You look beautiful. You're beautiful. It was well, so I'm just going to say it now, now that I can remember. You looked beautiful that night. Logan. Thank you very much. You're Aaron. very welcome. I appreciate all of your sort of compliments. <laughs> but so also, before-, before we before we wrap it up, so. Shout out to that taco bar in the night. That's all I'm oh, saying. We ain't going to go oh, detail. Yeah, that's true. That, that, that was very, in the clutch. Yeah, that was, that was very clutch. Sorry. Wi-Fi. No, no, no. That's not a Wi Fi. Yeah, there, there was late night Mexican late food. Late night tacos on Provided the- after midnight. Yeah. Definitely money. What? There was a taco bar at your wedding? <laughs> yeah. There was. <laughs> the not best a, part. Not a show not a show wedding. No. Not the wedding you went to at Wait, yeah. Not that wedding you were at. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I missed a taco bar. Yeah, you missed a taco the best bar. part is there was a video, and I don't know if Goat's going to oh. post it on his Instagram. <laughs> Do not. But it it's literally insane. like him dancing, and then like he's smoking a cigar, yep. and it blows out, and somebody like says something to him, and he walks over, and he's holding a plate of tacos. And oh, so, like, so by so the way, <laughs> I'm missing a cigar. I'm owed a cigar. Mm, that cigar is oh. dead and gone. Okay. Oh. So what did they say to you? I forgot what they said to me. But the reason why I did it was, so it was like, they played SWV at the end of the night, folks. You know what I'm saying? By that time, my wife, my lovely wife went home to to take, you know, Swiss our, our, Wagner, our son. Wagner vaginas? No, Sisters with Voices. Oh. Come I on, thought, bro. No, your, no, your Swiss R&B. Swiss Wagner <laughs> vaginas. Now you just be a, you just no, be a hater. Do your goo. No, your R&B. <laughs> But my uh, my wife went home, so I was by myself for, for like, you know, a bit. And everybody was booed up by the end of the night. You know what I mean? So I was sitting there lonely. 
So I was like, you know, I'm gonna give me a boo. I'm gonna go give me a little boo thing. <laughs> so I got me a little little chicken taco, little boo thing. <laughs> so I danced with my chicken taco. Everybody else is doing slow dances, holding they holding they couples and stuff Ooh. like that. So I was like, Let's I'm gonna smoke this stove. And slow it down. <laughs> dance with this taco. Couple skate don't love time. tacos. Exactly. Couple skates. And then somebody looks over a goat and he walks over and he was like, what? I just love tacos. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, what are you doing? I was like, I just love tacos. <laughs> yeah. Slow it down. For the tacos. You love tacos. We I love tacos. I want some tacos. Yeah. Tacos. How you loving tacos? Chicken tacos. And them steak tacos. Beef tacos. That's all I got. That's all I got. I think that's the same thing as steak. <laughs> Ground beef and steak are two different tacos. They are. No, you are right. But this... <laughs> Next. <laughs> you know, so, we got, remember, is, if you guys are new on. to Hardly Heroes, go to our About page and you can pretty much know all these people we're pretty talking much? about. Well, some of the people aren't on the list, but you is, know what I mean? Is Clayton on the list? I have. Uh, Clayton is on the list. Oh, no. He never made the list. Uh, and he wanted a shout out. Clayton, I'm sorry. Shout yeah. out to Clayton. I love but you, But I do have one cone of Dunshire. Look, you always get the cones because I forget. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. All right. So this is a show about movies, TV. Really? And everything geek related. Are Today, you, are you it, sure? has, it has rightfully been... About the marrying of Buddy, the yes. conversion of Buddy into mm. Mr. Buddy. Yep. It was a fantastic time. Thank yeah. you all for listening to our <laughs> fun <laughs> recollections that some of us oh, remember, so some good. of us sort of remember, and some of us heard about today for the very first time. This is all true. Taco bars. Buddy. Uh, so overall, Taco bars. Buddy's wedding. Shating. Shating, yeah. bro. Yeah, that was Shating. Shating. Thank so you. before we move on, I do want to throw a quick shout out to me, and I wanted to thank him for hosting everybody in the Bat Cave. Oh, yeah. The return to the Bat Cave last week, mm. fun time while the Triple HQ was down for scheduled maintenance. So he yeah. almost shot me. Manny almost, Manny almost shot, shot, shot me. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh of course. I, I didn't told... tell him I was coming. I just walked into his house. Did you? Was... No. Oh, I I'm thought not... you were going to borrow one of his <clears throat> movies and not return it within the two day time frame. No, I'm he not kidding. Shot me for that. <laughs> he. We were all up in the in in the Bat Cave, and he was like, "What the? F- what was that? What was that noise? It was me. Was somebody? Did somebody come in the house? And he was, was very me. scared that somebody just walked into his house. It happens. It was you. It was me. Yeah, he didn't have an appointment. It was. Funny. Oh, he was freaked out. Yeah, it was funny. I loved it was. It. I loved it. It was great. <laughs> Thank so, you, Brandon. First piece of news today, I feel like, is the biggest piece of news out in geekdom over the last week is the new Captain Squirrel Marvel Girl. trailer. <laughs> there seems to be varying opinions on this mm. that confuse me greatly. Yeah, but, me too. You know, we'll just. Just, we'll let we'll let Buddy go first since he's the newlywed and he's yep. super duper special today instead of normal Buddy special. Super duper fly. Super Which, duper. Which oh, and you know what needs to go on Instagram is a picture of Buddy's main bling wedding ring. I see oh. that you switched it. I did just notice that actually. I switched it. Not be- to change the subject, but Buddy's not wearing his super Ow. bling wedding oh, wait, ring wait, wait, anymore. Wait, wait, wait. I was a little nervous, so I don't work, blame you. I hit it. A really? Little and then Michelle had me all nervous because you know what I mean. She's just like, if you mess it up, your dad's probably gonna yeah. kill you. Well, then I where are you supposed to wear it? I'll wear it on the weekend. But you just what? This but thing, just that work. This ring, though, I mean, it was just so like it's just seventies bling tastic. Oh, just oh, yeah. so like amazing <laughs> oh, yellow man. gold that comes up into this square shape that has oh, yeah. small diamonds kind of around the outside, and then just one like just nice you big old it. shiner. In the oh middle. This was one of, like, I just see, like, Ace Ventura getting exactly. punched in the face with this thing and then counting the stones in it is what oh, I, yeah. you what I thought about, as soon as I, I saw it. I got called bougie. <laughs> you want to talk about almost cursing at the wrong time? When I, I, never see, I never saw the ring before until, like, they <laughs> exchanged rings. So when I look, like, everyone was, like, laughing and kind of giggling and stuff like that. Like, people are amazed. So people oh, giggling, yeah. they know the backstory of the ring and everything. I don't. And so I look at it for the first time. I'm like... I'm like, yo, okay. I'm like, 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 this is how we moving out here? I was like, and that's, yeah, it was, it's a very, very extravagant ring. It looks, it looks like too, it has powers, is yes, what it looks like. Yes, it's it, a very, not 
I'm, I'm not trying to be racist, but it's a very Italian ring. Oh, yeah. I'm in the mob. It's yeah, a no, super it, it, Italian it, ring. I'm a made man now. You I definitely love are a made man. It was nice. It was nice. So, But I feel you. I wouldn't wear that ring on the uh, at work like that, too. So. Yeah. so, I apologize. Captain Marvel trailer, buddy, go. It was... I, it looks all. It looks good. It just looks different than all the rest of the Marvel movies. I feel like they're trying to hit on the '90s nostalgic too hard, and it just doesn't look like any of the other Marvel movies to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see that. So it, you do? You, are you done or do you pass? No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. You want me? You want Go. Me yes. In? Pass all it right. around. So uh, my feelings are: it looks mad bland, and and, and I and the thing is this. So. I tr- I'm trying to look at it from like an objective, like point of view. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we all agree that we should give everything a chance. Sure. What does that? What does sure. ob- what does objective mean to you? When you say you want to look at it objectively, maybe I'm, I'm curious. Maybe I'm using objective wrong. I want to look at it openly. <laughs> huh. open. Okay. I want to have a good like open mind. Open mind. Okay. Yeah, sure. I would say no. So, that's a, that's objective. Oh, so I I'm trying my best not to judge it off of the first trailer of. Captain Marvel. The one minute and 30 the one minute, whatever 30 seconds. Something. I can say this, that Brie Larson does not look like the Captain Marvel that I want in okay. my mind. That's, uh, that's I'm not, fair. And the unfortunate thing is I'm not good at actors or actress, actors' sure. names like that, so I can't like throw out names of people who I want yep. to play um, Captain Marvel. But see, um, that's, it's funny you say it, is they've usually hit everybody on the mark. Yeah. I think she might, she might make a good Carol Danvers. When she's like in her, you know, army outfit and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But when I saw, even at the end, when she had, was flared up, it didn't look like Captain Marvel. And I don't, and I'm not even, and just to make things clear, I'm glad they don't use, they're not using her, um, her Marvel girl or Ms. Marvel outfit. I'm glad that she's in the Captain Marvel outfit. Right. I think um, nailing I, Captain Marvel, I think, is difficult to do because there's so many iterations of Captain Marvel oh, yeah. that they're not, they don't all super jive completely well, and the stories end up in different places in the Marvel universe. And it's to, I don't think you're going to be able to do Captain Marvel and be able to hit Captain Marvel fans because there's so many. Well, I think my main issue is that I don't see Brie Larson as, and and you guys can kill me in the comments or in the... Uh, Nobody's going to say anything. No, gonna don't don't worry about it. No. Or write in about it if you want to. Nobody's going to write in. Um, but she doesn't look as strong as I want her to look. She doesn't look... Uh, Jessica Chastain looks stronger, you know, and, and still looks feisty and strong in, in, you know, in a Captain Marvel role. Um, I was trying to I was trying to think like who I'd want to see. Like I said, I don't know right. too many like faces. The fantasy some... casting is hard to do. Yeah, um, and that's not the, that's not to say that she pro- she's probably gonna do a great job, you know. But I think once you've had the the Chris Evans and the Chris uh, you know Hemsworth and the uh, all the Chris's all the Chris's and the the um, Robert Downey Juniors. Drax, uh, you know, uh, or Batista as Drax, like that. You right. get these good castings for people. Chris Pratt. Uh, Chris you said Pratt all the Chris's. So um, before we keep going, like we we can get super deep into yeah, this, bad, but before bad. before we do, I'm just I just kind of want to yeah. like cruise around the table and just get everybody's first impression. So you're kind of it sounds like we got meh, meh, yeah, two mehs, two meh. <laughs> all right. Aaron, Mr. Sprinkles. So do you know Brandon? Do you know anything about like? Do you know a lot about Captain Marvel? The know, girl Captain Marvel. Yeah, I know a good a good amount of Captain Marvel. I don't. Okay. So I I thoroughly enjoyed this trailer. Okay. I thoroughly enjoyed Brie Larson and I believed her as the character. But okay. but I didn't know I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. Yeah. I can be perfectly honest about saying that and maybe I'm a little biased that I like Brie Larson. Like I like her as, yeah, an, actress, as an actress and I liked her as like what she, I like what she's done. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like her passion, like in behind the scenes, like I like her passion for the role. And that's, and that's, and that's the thing. Like I'm saying, like, I think her, her passion for the role is sure. that it will carry into the character. I mean, we've watched movies, you know, over yeah. and over again, no matter if it's superhero movies or just, you know, non superhero, whatever, when people like, you can tell who just, who's just phoning it in for, you know, their check at the end of the, yeah. at the end of the film. Um, but I just feel, I just think like her, the look in, in itself 
isn't okay. as like I said, doesn't it doesn't captivate me. Okay. And I know I know Logan said like you know there's many iterations, but just once she took the captain persona in the books, they even started drawing her different. You right. know, they drew her really they drew her more soft, you know, when she was in her, you know, in the, the one piece uh bikini and stuff like that. Um <laughs> and and but when she decided to become Captain Marvel, you know, they or they drew her with her hair shorter. Um right. Which I thought was weird, and they grew it out. But then, like you know, just gave her once they put her in the full suit, and they kind of relied just on her attitude at that. So mm-hmm. I'm really hoping that that translates into the film. So once we see her on the screen, all of that washes away. Like the yeah. moment you see Jamie Foxx in Ray for the first time, right? And you, oh, right, and, right, you, right. and you stop seeing him as Jamie Foxx, and yeah. you start seeing him as Ray. Well, and that's the thing is like that's what I'm hoping. For, like once again, not a comic book fan of Captain Marvels. Uh, of the girl of uh, what's her name? Carol Danvers. Carol Danvers. Yeah. Carol Danvers. But before Iron Man, before Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, nobody gave a crap about Iron Man. Mm-hmm. He was not as popular. As pretty he true. Is, as he is he right was, now. And PS everybody character. thought that Robert Downey Jr. was going to do horrible as Iron Man. Everybody yeah. look back on the Reddit feeds on the, on the forums. Nobody thought he was going to do great. Yeah. Nobody thought this character was going to be great. And and obviously we were proven wrong. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man for us. Mm-hmm. Well, I always laughed at that cuz I was never one of the people that thought he was going to do bad. Really? Yeah, I thought he cuz his real life is is oh, yeah. is totally dark. like he was an alcoholic I mean, rich guy. I mean, he woke yeah. up in some <laughs> random boy's bed yeah. on uh, overdose on heroin. But <laughs> <laughs> so that like this the i watched the captain marvel <laughs> trailer like ju- the just the first time this evening i had not i hadn't seen it before i wanted yeah. to make sure that i could watch it so i could talk about it with you guys by the way evening. i loved the trailer i loved it and i love brie larson that's all yeah. i'm gonna say so i i absolutely loved it i had to watch it three separate times because aaron and i aaron and i were in here like we we arrived first we watched it one time just here on the screen in the studio with the headphones on Mm -hmm. kind of talking over it aaron then went to his office so i then had to watch it again and both so the first time me and aaron watched it it finished and i was like i was i was so pumped he goes to the bathroom i watch it again by myself I came out of my office and I was like, "Is somebody here? Did somebody just scream? Is someone wooing?" Someone that was wooing. me. It was Logan. But and I had, and then I had to go out and put it on the TV in the <laughs> living room <laughs> with my Bose sound dock that I love to listen to my loud movies to, like Ragnarok and whatnot, and so I could just oh. and yes, we have know, it hit me. We know how you both feel I about could just Ragnarok. Have the sound hit me, and I just I can't wait because like what it's what buddies. He kind of, but it, what he's made a comment that kind of was like, my opinion is so much different. He said it looks so much different than any Marvel movie that right. he's seen, and you're the tone that you had with that was kind of lackluster and disappointed, and that pumps me up. Like that's what I love to see about all of these Marvel movies is right. like, what new genre are you going to give me? How are you going to take this? And what is this movie like, fifteen or something at this right. point? And loop it all in, and I feel like what they're doing with this is like Infinity War was awesome, right? And this is like it's like the special sauce that you're gonna put on Infinity War to give you the next Avengers movie. You could take Infinity War and just go straight into the next movie. You don't need any more characters. You don't need to do anything else to mix it up and make it more interesting. But Captain Marvel is gonna do this, and I don't know exactly what version you're going to get of captain marvel because there's so many but i just trust what disney has done to this point to see that movie and know the actors that are in it and ronan's coming back and jude law is in it and i think it's just going to be mysterious and different and i cannot wait for that easter egg at the very end when she picks up the pager Beep, and beep, looks beep, at beep, it beep, and then just like stares off into space or whatever and you get ready for the end of Infinity War. Two months later, we get Avengers oh, 4. I can't. You, you done? Wait. <laughs> you done? You and done? I'm done. I'm worried about how much 90s they're going to throw over our head. Why? No. Nah. Well, because that first part in the trailer, it's yeah. a blockbuster. Right. Well, we like, all knew it was set in the 90s. And then is it going to be a... Um, 
you know, a Samuel Jackson, like, buddy cop movie with her? No. What if it is? I think I think not. parts of it will be, but I think it's going to be mainly... We've never... I want to say since Avengers 1, we haven't seen Nick Fury in his Nick Fury role. Right. A lot of the comic books, a lot of his role in the comic books, especially like when there's a crisis... Is He's like, white. He's definitely white. That is true. <laughs> uh, his, his role is to be the... The Captain America when Captain America is not around. So he's the one that gets everybody together in his own right. Yeah. And I think he's going to play a role of trying to get her to be uh, Captain Marvel. From what I've heard um, is when he comes into this, when we see Nick Fury in this movie, he's about to retire. Yeah. Like he's about to be done with S.H.I.E.L.D., done with all of this stuff. And then all of a sudden, Captain Marvel like literally falls into his lap and pokes th- his eye out. Right. And pokes his, I don't think he, she pokes his eye out. No, I think it's Jude law, but <laughs> that might have it too. I'm ju- look w- once again, I don't know. W- do we, do we have any friends in the movie business other than Curtis? That's not in, in any way. And with this movie, I think no. Jude law will be the villain by the way. No, he's not Marvel. I Are can you? tell. No, he is not Marvel. He's uh, who's the, who's Marvel? Who's Marvel? He's the original, right? He's the original, He's the Captain, original Captain Marvel. Marvel yeah. yeah. So Jude yeah. Law's so not playing I Marvel. Think lot, I don't think so. A lot of kind of like the lore of this movie and things and how it works into the Marvel universe is so there's some extra. There's some races out in the galaxy that we've seen a little bit. It's the Kree and the, the Scroll. Scroll. Yep. So I think we've seen, like, we haven't really seen either of them. I don't think they've kind of been mentioned yep. to yeah, this no. point. But they're two Kree. alien races that are warring against each other. And that's why they Brie Larson all, punches an old lady. All the time. So the Kree, the Kree are kind of like, they're, as far as we're concerned, they're like sort of the good guys in this war. And something, More like honorable. in the comic book, something kind of happens where there's, like there's a human person that gets endowed with Cree powers yep. somehow, and that's the general version of who Captain Marvel yeah. is. Is it some sort of way that you combine Cree and human DNA and you get Captain Marvel? And then the bad guys in this, or you know, the the opposing side of the war is the Scrolls, which you see in the preview really quickly. They kind of their their face just. They very, look alien and evil. Very green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, very green. But they're shapeshifters. Right. So yes. it completely like Mystique in X-Men, basically, where they yep. can just change the way that they look to look like anyone. So when you see in the preview when Captain Marvel decks an old lady. Awesome. That's it's because I she mean, wouldn't give her a seat up. It's probably. Of course. <laughs> it's, it's that. It's because scroll. Hashtag Rosa Parks. Scroll, you need to get up. <laughs> what? But that's a lot of what that's the only one I know. It's a lot of what this movie is about and how it kind of like well the way this ties into the whole Avengers thing is it's a little bit of a a separate outside story. Yeah. That kind of starts yeah. linking and a lot of this there's a lot of really neat stories that go along with the Kree Scroll War that interact with the Avengers and I'm just I'm interested to see how they bring this plot line into it and then see if this could end up being phase 4. Of Marvel, because the Kree Scroll War, you can take that whole thing, you can make right. ten movies out of that just by itself. Right. It so good, I'm excited for one Coulson to come back. I mean, we He's haven't seen Shield. Agent. Col- okay. Oh nobody, yeah. First of all, nobody watches Shield. I watch Shield. Nobody but you and me watches Shield. If you watch nobody Shield, even you know knows Coulson is still Shield. alive. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. That's so Coulson's back. Nick Fury with both eyes are back. And and some hair. And and a little bit Henry. of pulp not pulp fiction hair. Yeah, pulp fiction hair. Yeah, he got hair like Harry Osborne. There it is. It, I'm I'm excited for this movie. It's it's gonna be good. And I'm excited for the implications for Avengers 4 because we don't know who a scroll is. Cause anybody of the Avengers could be a scroll. So technically, I'm going to say this right now. It's true. If they scroll Avengers four, I'm they are. So they are heated. They, it, at least one of them will be a scroll. And I better not find out to the very last to the, the, the what if you find scene. out 10 minutes in, then I think I'm going to get up. You will not. You ain't getting up. Cause it's going to be our movie I event. Shout out. Cause it's going to be our movie. Aaron and I'm not right. making <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first. If you if you're right, and it's ten minutes in, and it I shows hope you, the scroll, 
I will shout out Aaron was right. They you could, you know, I can see so. that happening. I've been figuring they're going to time travel something, but they, they could are. shapeshifter it I instead. Cannot, both. I cannot wait for the next movie event, <laughs> dude. I'm so steamed we up got We that. got Captain Marvel in March, and then we got Avengers 4 in May. Mm. You so know, get if, ready. If you missed the Infinity War event, you could always go to YouTube and search Hardly Heroes. Right. Funny and watch the video from s- the Harley Heroes opening weekend Infinity War fan experience. Boom. Funny you say that. I just showed three people that today. Three. Watched it four times. Three mm-hmm. people four times? That's like... Yeah. Well, I wanted to watch hold on, it by hold myself. Hold on. Let me do the math. There. Hold on. That's like that's like 73 times. Uh, I know, right? All the views. Holy yeah. you know, crap. Honest, when, you, when you make a movie, you <laughs> get tired of it a lot of times, honestly. But that's one that I mean, I could just watch it over and over again. Dude, it was it, such a fun it, day. It gets me every time when you hear everybody say, you are now listening to the Hardly Heroes podcast. Uh-huh. Every that time. That was a nice moment. That was a really nice moment. I was glad I made it back into... The, the theater for that because I almost missed that part too. I was really glad that Brandon said I was wrong in the middle of the movie. Oh man, that was hilarious. Go. I told you. Go, relax, relax. He's right there. Oh, no. He's right there. We it's, gotta get that. I will kill you. It's not Vigo Morton. Let me, let me ask this one question before we go on. I know it's early. Whatever what are everyone's mean. hopes? I know you kind of touched on like you know what, what you want from this movie to do. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think will happen? Because this is what I want to happen. I want them to introduce Nova. Oh, They're not going to do that in this movie. That would be so sick. Or at least I don't, allude into. They, they will. Already, they'll, they already alluded to that Thanos destroyed uh, Xandar. Yep. So the Nova Corps is pretty much which gone. Is, which is protector of man, but instead mm. of an E, it's an A. <laughs> Xandar, not yes. Xander. Not Xander, but Xandar. So Xandar. Re- remind, remind us who Nova is again. I know some about this character, but Nova not is enough. Post Nova credit- mostly links into from the movies into Guardians. Into Guardians, right? Yeah. Post credit scene at Guardians of the Galaxy two. Was he in there? Yep. It was the po- That was the only time we saw it. Was the post credit scene of Guardians of the Galaxy two. Nova. Yeah, the character Nova. Yeah, yeah. It was the the gold lady had a cocoon. No, that's not Nova. Who that's is Adam that? Warlock? Oh, damn it! You're right. <laughs> but that, no, that's Nova is it like there's is there's something like so the, the Nova like core the Marvel version of the Green Lantern Corps. They're space cops, and okay. so Nova in himself, instead of a ring, think of a helmet. The helmet gives uh, the bearer po- uh, powers. I'm trying to think of the. The most common one, I think, is Richard Rider. Is the one that's most commonly known in the MC, in the Marvel universe. I have nothing to say because um, I obviously don't. But know pretty anything. much, they they have opportunity now. They find if like if for some random reason they're in space, they find a helmet. They get introduced uh, Nova into the MCU, which would be dope because he also was an Avenger. So oh. I know they want to reach out to more of their space and more of their magic elements right. of the MCU. So. So in Guardians, like when Ronan is coming to attack the planet, like the the army that opposes him is the Nova Corps, Nova Corps yeah. right? So it's kind of like so it's they they so the Nova Corps that army that be, find, finds this helmet and starts kind of creating these yeah. space cops. Well, sort that's of. A, and that's something we didn't mention is that Ronan is in Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Yes. He yeah, is, he's like the he's the main uh, protagonist. I, I wouldn't think. say he's the main one, but I actually think he's part of the same crew. Because at one point they show all of them in the same uniforms, right? Um, Ms. Marvel. He's Marvel. part of the movie. I don't think he, I. I really think that Jude Law is the main villain of this movie. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I know, but I yeah. think it's it's a de- it's a decent prediction. I think. Thank you, sir. So I've got I've got a bunch of news stories here, but I think that the main one that I want to go through before we get to a little bit of sidekick mayo. Heyo! This is actually a story that was suggested to us by our sidekick mail writer today, Hector. Really? Oh. Hector the collector, he Thank calls you. himself, which I love yeah, I like quite that. a bit. So basically, he said there, it was an interview that Hollywood Reporter did with Bob Iger, who is the CEO of disney so i've got just a bunch of kind of like just questions that were asked of him and his answers so i'll just kind of read some and see what you guys think of these because i I think a lot of these are interesting so first Mm -hmm. question how do you see the recent interest in premium content from the digital giants he says i'm impressed with what has been accomplished by netflix and amazon but but none of them is either disney or marvel 
or Pixar. Boom. Or Star Wars or National Geographic or FX or Searchlight or Avatar. I could go on. So we enter the business that they're in in many respects with an advantage from a content perspective that will enable us to focus on quality rather than just volume. A burn. Wow. That was like, here. here's Thor's, not even a gauntlet. Here's Thor's hammer. Dropped it on the, the ground. ground. I, just, uh, it's, it's, I can see the burn, the burn status, but come on, man. I'm, I always get heartbroken when I think about the fact that Disney's going to just one day pull off all their content. Look, off of all these other well, things. Well, especially because they're going to lose <clears throat> Daredevil, they're going to lose Punisher. Well, and and it's 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 big. Look, I I'm with him. Disney is a big is a big company. They're but, juggernaut. But guess what just happened? The Emmys just happened. Netflix won as much as HBO did at the Emmys. Yeah, Netflix is not even the slouch yet. Nah. It's like like yeah, they're doing just fine and they do not care about what Disney says about them. But I care because it's so easy to watch Coco on Netflix. I mean, it's really good. Coco is I've great. I've never seen it. Well, oh, if you come to my house, you can definitely well, watch look, it with my son. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't have a child. Look, we we understand. That's what I said. You can come to my house, and it's so good. Un poco loco. Oh. Never mind. Is it we'll on it. Netflix? <laughs> yes, yeah, it is on Netflix. Netflix. What are you doing? I've watched Black Panther like eight times on oh, Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm still waiting <laughs> because for you should Wakanda because you should that's why I really yeah. should but no like I I think that's that's, that's dope I mean I, just, I will get the Disney service so I think yeah, I think it's interesting it. though that I th- what his comment is is kind of like they were first to the media Shut delivery up. format but we have all the stuff you know it's like you know who has CDs anymore I do no one congratulations Netflix you got the CDs for now <laughs> we have all the content yeah. We have everything that you're printing. They took all the music, and, off it, the and they took all the CDs. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of how I feel. That, yeah. That's kind of what I feel like that comment is. Does so, anybody get? Did anybody get the DC streaming service? By the way, no. Is no, it out? Yeah, it's out. It's out now. Oh man, let's not ruin a lovely Marvel discussion with going down a DC <laughs> hole today. <laughs> Ooh, I Jeez. love the DC hole. <laughs> mm. <laughs> my, I really, I, it's my no. favorite hole. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the next story so I don't start. So how involved do you get in decisions to cancel Roseanne at ABC or fire James Gunn at Marvel? He says, I would say there is a blend of my helping to make the decision to my supporting the decisions that have been made. Roseanne was completely unanimous. We discussed how it could be communicated and because there were a number of entities that had to be properly filled in, the decision was completely unanimous. The James Gunn decision was brought to me as a unanimous decision of, of a variety of executives at the studio, and I supported it. Man. <laughs> James Gunn, James Gunn was told like, to me, and I was like, yo, I ain't trying to lose my job, too, so I'll roll yeah. with it. It's it's hard because, look, I understand both both cases, the Roseanne and the James. I totally understand the Roseanne, but like, I get the James Gunn thing. I don't agree with it, but I get it. Like I feel like those are on two totally different levels. I agree. I think the question having those two be like back to back Roseanne doesn't even is, make sense. Roseanne has been racist since forever until about three months ago, and uh, until now, James Gunn. Well, not, she stopped taking Ambien. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and James Gunn said produ- provocative text on Twitter ten to twelve years ago yeah. to be provocative. That's not what he thought. He's not a pedophile. He doesn't believe in pedophile tendencies. He pedophilia. made pedophilia. Thank you. He 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 said some pedophiliac tweets. He doesn't he's not a pedophile. Roseanne is a racist. Like there's a big difference. I don't know. That, I just the way I feel about it, I mean, we've all echoed the same sentiment. Sure. We've all said reck, reckless things when we we're younger. I just got through having a conversation with Aaron about me and just me as a man in my youth. Yep. Me like too. if 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 you're gonna judge me based on you know what I did do in the past, then you got no one should be around me. You know what I mean? So well, that- if if we we all got a sorted past on on the interweb, you know we've we've clicked too many uh, next pages on some on some sketchy sites. Yeah. You know you check. You, Everybody in this room got a wild history. They probably they probably don't want nobody to pull up. But 
you don't judge a person on their past. You judge them, especially they're doing a job right now. Uh, for you. Uh, yeah, on their on their what they're doing now. And I then, just think and they the, pulled the gun too early on. I yeah. get it. James Gunn pulled the gun. That was good. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I I here's the thing: is I'm not gonna say what jokes I said, but I know for a fact. Ten years ago, I said some off-color jokes that nobody would like right now. Well, like I said, I mean, if like, he said it. If Roseanne said that stuff, I said some worse jokes Roseanne than James show. Gunn did. I know for a fact I did. If James Gunn said those things when he was producing and directing, sure, um, that'd be different. Guardians, it'd be way different. Totally different. Roseanne said that stuff while she was probably in, while during production. Yep, and right. her show you know, was on the air. You know, I feel like we could put this like you know what. We could flip it around a little yeah. bit and be like, you know what? If I drove a car when I was 14, I couldn't drive I good. Sh- I should I be hit. in trouble. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, that's a different time. It's mm-hmm. set, you know, but it's like now I'm 18. You learn some things. Pull a you Missy Elliott. Flip, flip it around the other direction. You know, so, it just, it's pull, flip it and reverse it. Thank you. <laughs> so next question. How is Marvel going to absorb down. Fox's X-Men franchise? Is Kevin Feige going to oversee everything? Probably. He says, I think it only makes sense. I want to be careful here because of what's been communicated to the Fox folks, but I think they know. It only makes sense for Marvel to be supervised by one entity. There shouldn't be two Marvels. Well, is that nice to say when you're the head of everything? I agree, though. No, I, mean, I know. It's I totally mean... true. That's what's, That's going to be... The next thing is I've had people comment to me that they're sad that you know Chris Evans is going to fade out of Captain America and sure. Hemsworth is going to fade out of Thor but you got it's X-Men's coming right on its right on its tail and it's going to be just as awesome. It's just it's just like to to speak on the first point. It's really unfortunate because Marvel these plans weren't weren't in the cards. I promise oh, you. Oh god no. I promise you the board meeting was just we're going to ride this out till Avengers, the first Avengers. And both Chris's and Robert were like, all right, cool. We can do that. You know, we we'll, what Chris Evans only had. How many caps were out before? Um, before Avengers? Before Avengers? One, yeah. one. right? Oh, one. before Avengers? Winter Soldier yeah. was after. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's only one. So he was yeah. probably like, cool. I don't even think Winter Soldier was a thought until Avengers came out. Or until like, and uh, then before, Avengers right popped off, and they were yeah. like, "Well, let's make another one." And they probably threw him a lot of money, and he was like, "All right, cool." And then, and then they were like, "All right, we're gonna make a third movie, which was uh, Civil War," and he's like, "Okay, that's fine." And then he got roped into yeah two I, Avengers. I like and I like to think that someone at someone that had the opportunity to produce all of this just they saw what they had and they saw the potential and that they sat down with Chris Evans and they're like and they this whole process was not just like oh let's have whoever sign up for it it's like look man you want to be Captain America <laughs> Captain America Captain is, but it's it's like asking someone like if you ask do you want to be Batman. Do you yes. want to be Superman? Yes. Do you want to be Obi Wan Kenobi? Yes. You know, but everyone I, knows yeah, what that means. I, like, and I get Captain it. America was not a thing until Chris Evans. Like, did did but, they know what was <laughs> what it was going to turn into? But yeah, did but, they know? Did they say? And I'm going to cut you off, but did they look at him and say, "Do you want to be Captain America for the next ten years?" Right. Over and over again. I wonder. Because I, did, I just I wonder how much of this they actually well, thought out, or if it was see, just let's see what sticks, and then it started look, going, or and if now, they knew. Well, in the beginning, like I get it, like they were like, "Hey, do you, Robert Downey Jr., do you want to be Iron Man?" That's all they said. But now, hey, Brie Larson, do you want to be Captain Marvel for ten years? And what's crazy to me, and as you bring her up, was like, do people even like? Do they? I wonder if Brie Larson called Robert or called Chris sure. and was like, "Hey." What am I getting myself into? You know, you know. trying to figure out, you, like, know. you know, is this something that I should do? Is this a good career? Is this a good career move? Because at that point, Marvel was already full steam. You know, yeah. they already yeah. knew what their plan mm-hmm. was. So in their mindset, they're probably like, whoever we bring in, they need to know they're on it for like three movies minimum. Uh, uh, what's old boy? More your, like your four favorite? to five. Yeah, four to five. What's your what's your guys? It's Tom Holland. Like yeah. I said, they were like, we got you for three movies. Yep. Are you good with that? Well, yeah, but I think going back to his point of, you know, Chris Evans being like, you know, I'm Captain America, I'm this, I'm doing this, and him being excited, I think in the beginning it was fun. Now they're kind of bored, but 
after years i don't know passed, man would you would you be if you so you're so i know i'm not gonna say captain america for you you're batman Tell me when you are bored of being bad. No, I'm not saying, but you're uh-huh. saying I these, just don't see how it's possible. But s- think about these actors of like, I want to do something else. I sure. Because that's what they live to do. They live to be different actors. And I'm saying after it's all said and done, Characters. they're probably like, yeah, dude, you go back. Like uh, the guy that played Jim in The Office. Yeah. He was done. He was like, I was done doing the character. But now that I go back and look at it, he's like, I do miss that time in my life. It was super yeah. fun. And it's funny to talk about now. Did you but just in the compare of it, Jim I, in the office to Captain America yeah. sitting Logan, right next to We get to it. You want to be Captain America. <laughs> yes. There's no easier role to play than, oh, we'll a say, a Wolverine. That's an easy role. Taylor He's, Kitsch. If you're once he got you got to be movies, five feet tall if you really want to be Wolverine. Taylor you know Kitsch from from uh, from the football TV show. But even uh, there, perfect example. You're talking about Wolverine. He's done. He's like, dude, I've been playing this character for, and he and he said he loved it for what seventeen right. years or something. Like that? Yeah. Seven about seventeen. And by years. in each iteration, he literally only had to wear less and less. I right. Mean, he only had to work out. That's it. And if you look at it, all the all the big three. How long was uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. in the Iron Man costume? Ten years. Iron Man, no, Ten. Iron Man oh, suit, Iron Man three. Oh God, not that long. I'm positive Half that hour. was part of the uh, <laughs> about of about the... seventy to eighty percent was green screen. But that was part of the conversation, though. Right. I'm pretty sure he's oh, in the yeah. room. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Can I'm you figure out how to it. just make my face in blackness? And that's it. Well, and then even think about like Chris Hemsworth cutting his hair. He's like, I don't want to wear the wig anymore. Yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Which is bull, but I'm just saying. Is we know get you want to be point. Captain America? Yes, I don't. Is there? Wait, is, that, is that the is that the rumor that Chris Hemsworth didn't want to wear a wig, that and that's why rumor? his hair was short? That's the or is that, facts. That's the that's facts? facts. Oh, that's is facts. it? Well, yes. Fine. Just I don't like, care. Whatever, I liked it with his short hair. It gave Stan Lee, oh, it gave Stan Lee a perfect little cameo. I liked him with the short hair too. So. I get it, but I'm saying the character has long hair, and these people get to a point where they're just like, well, no, "This how yeah. I'm gonna be now." That's well, that's why just Cap like, was in just a t-shirt. And same and with uh, <laughs> what's her name is um, uh, Scarlet Witch or uh, not Scarlet Witch, uh, Black uh, Black, Widow? Black Widow. Yeah, Black Widow. Why she changed her hair color? I mean, it led to the story, but the, none of those guys. He didn't want to be in the mask anymore, and they didn't want to put him in the mask because he hates wearing the mask, and that's why he wears it so little in the um, in the uh, in like all the movies and stuff like that. But he didn't. They were all tired of wearing costumes. Like I know, I that's always a common thing with all the superhero movies. They hmm. don't want to wear costumes as much as like the first movie, you know. So they do it okay. just to do like it. Like that and helmet. Let it be off. He hated wearing that. Yeah, and I, then but they'll they'll spit it as kind of like it. Look, man, as we want to show his face more because he's a handsome man. And, and at that point, I'm like, look, boo, f- boo, who? Because who's getting paid millions and millions of dollars? Like, yeah, but you're, at that you're point, in a superhero you, movie. You know what you're getting into. Yeah, but at that point, they can't change him. What are they going to do? Yeah, I bet Zoe, suicide. I'm pretty sure Zoe Saldana's like, I wish I had that option. Okay, yeah. well then, you, I want to play a regular, <laughs> a regular. Skin if, if Zoe Saldana said, in, hey. I'm I'm auditioning for this part. Oh, she's green, so that means I have to be painted green for every scene. Oh, okay, I'm down to do that for three movies. That's her fault. And you know she asked if she can do a CGI. And I bet they said no. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense. Practical, right? And 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 that's their fault. I'm not. I do not feel bad for actors at all. No, I'm just saying when you get to that point after you've been in it for so long, it's easy for Disney to cave, especially if you're Iron Man or Thor. You're too big of a character for them, and to that's change what's you stupid. Now. Like I, that that that's what makes me mad about egos. Like I like I I don't want to think about egos when I'm watching a superhero movie. I want to watch a superhero movie to escape from my ego and from Buddy's ego and from Brandon's ego. That's what I want to do. There's no escape from either one of those. I movies. know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you for but telling But you know what I'm me. saying? Like, I don't give a crap about their egos. You're making millions upon billions of dollars on these movies. I don't give a I'm crap. With I'm, I'm with it, too. I get what you're saying. I'm just trying to be realistic of why these are coming to an end. I know. It just, oh, it just right. makes me mad. Let's see what kind of a tangent this one creates. Oh, God. That was a good tangent, though. That was an amazing tangent. I like. Do you, I do you guys, does anyone? You guys want to know where that started from? 
Nope, I don't remember. <laughs> Good, because the next one is, many believe Disney should prompt the brakes and not put out a Star Wars movie every year. That's dumb. His response, I made the timing decision, and as I look back, I think the mistake that I made, I take the blame, was a little too much too fast. You can expect some slowdown, but that doesn't mean we've got to go on making films. JJ is busy making episode 9. We have creative entities, including the Game of Thrones creators, who are developing sagas of their own, which we haven't been specific about. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. And we are just at the point where we're going to start making decisions about what comes after JJ's, but I think we're going to be a little bit more careful about volume and timing, and the buck stops here on that. Here's the thing, right? I get it. Like, I understand what he's saying. I actually would be okay with a Star Wars a year and not a Star Wars and then a spinoff and then a Star Wars. I think they did kind of bust their load a little too fast. I get it. They, they How much did they pay? Billions of billions of dollars for Star Wars to Disney pay? I think they did kind of go all in really fast well, that's a really fun new toy to play with if you think about it no if you're I, Disney, I get it oh my god i have star wars now let's go but right why go backwards that was my L- whole look, thing man you, you're gonna get backwards you're gonna get forwards even if they did it right you're gonna get backwards and forwards yeah but they could have there's so much to that universe that they didn't have to go backwards yeah you could have done something so much fun but a uh, making episode you could have made episode seven had a spin not a spin-off but a different side story that connected episode eight that could uh connected episode nine that had another spin-off that pulled these all these movies right. together instead of being like oh you like this let's go back well, well you like this let's go so back so no you origin stories are boring is what it's just for you weave and Star a Wars. new story look at what I, they're doing with they weave this huge thing instead you know of going backwards i i kind of i agree with you and i kind of i get more now i think what you're saying is that it's you feel these movies that they've been making you know the ending before it starts yes. kind of yeah that doesn't matter though not to me but i and i but i i i see what you're saying too and i have that same kind of, i just want to see a star wars well, movie but i'm starting to appreciate <laughs> buddy's point of view my thing is they have done so well with all the content in marvel and i'm not saying there's comic books and all this stuff but they've weaved this whole story and everything together and they've changed little things here and there we have so much content in the star wars universe with you know fan fiction that people have made and you know, all of this stuff. It's like, why not pull that stuff instead of showing me a story I already know? Yes, Brandon. My question from an outside perspective, because yeah. we all know how Because you don't like Star Wars. Star Wars. You don't like Star Wars. We know this. Um, so you brought up the all the, the universe, the, the vast universe. The, ex- the, the expanded, expanded universe. Expanded whatever. universe. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't all that come from a lack of Star Wars movies or people just having imagination? For Here's the yes. thing. So I... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my thoughts on the general question that Logan presented to us is I think they need to stop making Star Wars movies because wow. I think a lot of it comes from you guys getting excited about the Star Wars movies. About everything. Um, a lot of people always compare Star Wars and, and MCU together, especially now they're in like, you know, both owned by Disney. Sure. I think what Marvel has to their advantage is that they have a lot of characters that they can focus in on and still leave them in the same timeline. Mm-hmm. You don't really have that luxury with Star Wars because Star Wars has always been an ensemble movie. Right. Even though it kind of focuses on, like, you know, your Darth Vader's and your Luke Skywalker's. Yeah. Most of the Star Wars. Light versus dark. Yeah. Even yeah. though you have that same, that, that, like you said, light versus dark, it's always been an ensemble cast of right. characters. No, I think, your, I think your point makes a lot of sense to me. It almost seems like what they try to do is reverse Marvel it. And they I did, don't, and, and I don't. And that's what's not going to work for them. I, yeah, I don't. I don't think so. Not with not with Star Wars. I don't he, think if you started it, like I feel like if you gave me a Rocket Groot origin story, I'd want to see that. I think no, not in the movie theater. I'd want to see that more. I'd want. I kind of you know. You might be right. I think I might want to see it as much as I'd want to see Solo. Like it's just you know, Solo and Chewie is kind of the yeah. same. Yeah, and and well, it's. I guess you're right. It's just lukewarm is the point. Here's the yeah. thing: is like, look, I get we're all saying this now while the movies are out, but from 
not episode one, two, and three, but from four, five, and six, right after six, or even in between all those, there was, I don't know, 60, 70 novels that were written in the extended Uver- in the extended Star Wars universe that were all in the middle of all those movies. Like, you got Boba Fett. You got Han Solo's backstory. You got Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia. You got all of those, and they were great. But they don't need to be movies, though. But they can be. But they don't need to be. We don't need anything. You're right. We don't need so, anything. But the, the so fact of the matter is, is like I, as much as I don't want to see the MCU look, get man, washed don't out, need I don't think you guys want to see the Star Wars universe get washed out. So a movie a year is a lot of doing it, especially the same thing. I don't want to see an Avengers movie every year. But once again, I could I could have told you 10 years ago, hey, we're going to get a, an Ant-Man movie. You would have said, no, thank you. But if they said you I would give you an that. Ant-Man every year, I'd definitely say no, thank you also. The question is, do you want a Star Wars movie every year? Yes. And I, I think- do. I do too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug this, I'm going to plug this I bottomless can. pit and we'll wrap up this little <laughs> segment here with the last question was, so our comment, finally, some Disneyland purists are upset that there's going to be booze for sale in Star Wars land. Oh, thank you. He says, we have we have to be careful that we won't let people drink and then drive on Autopia. Oh, come ha, on. Ha, ha. Is there going to be cocaine? I Funny. Can... Oh, please. <laughs> didn't, Walt, didn't Walt specifically say no booze at Disneyland? Boo! No booze? Yeah, always, except I think boo. Walt had a nip or two in his apartment at night, which is above... Uh, yeah. It's above Pirates of the Caribbean. Correct. For those that don't know. I'm going to what makes me sad is I'm going to Disneyland in twenty eighteen, not twenty nineteen when Star Wars Land is open. I want to buy season passes. Of in course you do. I don't oh. want to do anything at Star at Disneyland. Wow. Sorry. Because Walt Disney. What about Coco? What if there's Coco right? If there's Coco, Coco Land. There's Coco Land. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is this a cemetery? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, just, yeah, you just lay down in a grave. Walt had Dios a nip or two metals. in his apartment at night. I'm a big believer in tradition. It just seemed like one of those traditions that if we change, the empire wasn't going to crumble. Yeah, definitely an interesting interview. Look, I, I know we all feel different about Star Wars, but I the way I feel about Star Wars is not exactly how everybody else feels like about pizza. Any pizza's good pizza to me. A lot of people like a specific type of pizza. But you give me pizza, I'm going to eat some pizza. You every give day? me Star Wars every day. If you give me Star Wars, I'm going to like some Star Wars. Not everybody's like me. I get it. You're like, right. I understand. I'm not saying you have to be like me, but that's me. I get it. Give me some pizza. Yeah. All Side right. Kick mayo. Oh, come on. Hold on, right. real fast. If you guys like this, tell your friends about Come our show on, and man. tell us how great, you know, the sidekicks are uh, and how much fun we are as, you know, a podcast. Yeah. Make sure you tell all your friends about our show. It's and fun. please write in and give your opinion and give us a little sidekick mayo at hardlyheroes at, at gmail.com. Gmail. Com. Especially all if you right. like me. Yeah. <laughs> so we are the Harley Heroes. We fondly refer to our listeners as the, as the sidekick. So when we hear from a listener, we call it sidekick mail. This is from one of our favorite listeners, Hector. This is a, It's a little bit of an old mail that we weren't able to get to Door. a few weeks back, but it was solid, and I wanted to make sure and go through this. It's an oldie, but good. Hi, Hector. Hector says, what, what is up? up, my Harley Heroes homies? Hector, your favorite collector here, writing in to say <laughs> you guys that. are doing a hell of a job, despite Buddy's voice sounding like nails on a chalkboard last week. So they oh, wrote this right oh. after Buddy came back from his bachelor party. Oh. And barely talk. Mm. You could barely hear him. JK, Buddy. You know I'm messing with you and that, lots of love. That Glad you kidding. enjoyed your bachelor party, dude. But seriously, you guys are killing it, doing a fantastic job, keeping up with all the latest trans movie production, con news, and spreading the contagious fun you go you guys always have in the studio and on the airwaves. So, it has been a hell of a week. I started last Tuesday celebrating Jack Kirby's birthday, which this was August 28th, actually. I don't know if you guys knew it was Jack Kirby's birthday. I did not know. For those of you at home who don't know who Jack Kirby is, he's one of the co-creators of the X-Men, Fantastic Four, The Hulk, and Captain America. Jack Kirby is really, he's really Stan Lee number two. He just never got as famous (laughs) as Stan Lee. Mm -hmm. So, really big name in the comic universe. 
One of my favorite comic book shops here in Sac had a huge half off sale for Jack Kirby's birthday on back uh, half off sale on back issues for Jack Kirby's birthday for a whole week. I was so ecstatic. I went three days in a row and Ayo. picked up about no. 90 comics. Oh, jeez. About 40 Deadpool, 20 X-Men, some ah, various ah. others, Cable, Lady Deadpool, Batman, White Knight, etc. That's a lot of comics. I'm going to be at home reading religiously for days. That's what I'm talking about. Woo-woo. Dang. On a Netflix note, one of my most highly anticipated series of the last two years is coming back for its second season, Ozark. You guys seen Ozark? No, I like, I like Breaking it. Bad the first time. It is a li- it is a little bit like that, but it's I, I you know what oh I watched the I watched a couple of the first episodes. It, I'd watch more Ozark. Look, I like Jason Bateman, but it literally is like a soft core version of Breaking Bad. So Hector That's says all it, is. it stars Jason Bateman, one of my favorite actors. Bateman's character is a money launderer for the Mexican drug cartel. When his partner gets six, when his partner gets caught skimming off the top, it puts Jason Bateman's character into a whole heap of hell. Very dark with a lot of tension. This show will have you coming back for more, and I highly recommend it. Gotta love Netflix. Okay. I see you what you're saying, so. but you know what? If you like, maybe if you like Breaking Bad, right. then you'll like this show. I guess. I tried it. Three episodes. Couldn't get into it. Finally, to end my week, I got hit up by an awesome group of guys who invited me to watch Avengers Infinity War what? at IMAX. Oh! It was so cool meeting yeah, with other fellow sidekicks and just seeing Thanos and wait, the rest wait. of the Marvel Universe on a three-story HD TV. Who it, invited Hector to see Infinity War? That they was like him last minute. That was like months and months ago. That movie came out. No, who would is, have put on that event? The He's, Hardly Heroes. Look, it was us, okay? God. The Hardly Heroes. He was the only one that went to both. Yeah, it was. He was. No, no, me and you well, and Jennifer right. and Michelle, ba- basically. She she kind of went to both. Kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I think I was at both. I can't recall. I uh, think I was at both. Nah, you were up in the rafters for one of them. Yeah, no, he was the full group the first time, <laughs> and then he was the baby group this <laughs> That's time. That's true. There we go. So, but it, it was cool to see it on just like giant, massive, oh, dude, so oh, much fun, massive screen. Not so. that comfortable with chairs, see, though. I want to hear true. you know. Hit us up if you want us to do a Captain Marvel movie event. Oh mm-hmm. God, no, no, no! Do not hit us up. <laughs> we have one planned already for two months after Captain Marvel. What are you doing, trying to give me a heart attack, buddy? I could double down. Duh. So he I'll says. Just go. It was like saying goodbye to Biz. an epic film, which I thought was kind of cool. It was like that was like the theater goodbye to Infinity I, War. I which like was that you cool. said that. That is a cool. You way know, of it was it was an awesome way to kind of like send it off. It was over Good Labor homage. over Labor Day weekend. It was a, it was a fun time. Yeah, summer was ending. Yeah, that summer that same that same weekend, time. like Sheila and I went and saw Guardians. At IMAX, also that the, it's it's massive. Yeah. It's huge. That's great. Huge, huge. huge. So thanks for the invite Whoa. and awesome T-shirt. You guys are doing an amazing <laughs> job. Keep up the good work. Your humble sidekick, Hector. P.S. Logan, I heard you found your comic cards. When are we gonna do some old school trading? Oh, just shoot. a thought. Oh. We do need to do some old school trading, actually. So I just I knew I knew where they were. I just hadn't gone through them in a little bit. Can I have some? And I actually, you no. know, I might I might have I might have I might I have feel a card left or two out. I like I went off. to the Bat Cave and he had his cards out. Yeah, I'm he did. No, dude, you you are a guest in the Triple HQ. You get to dive. In the Triple HQ prize bin, my friend. You get to dig around in there. You know when you go to the dentist and you I didn't get know a prize? I didn't count it anymore. I thought it was, oh, like, no. I thought it was Abs- already. No. Nope. You get you to. You count you every time you come in. <laughs> the, only, the only fools that don't count are these two, which oh. is my immediate left and right. Mm. Wait, and, we don't, and myself. Oh, mm. we don't get to no. go through you, the bin. You guys don't get prizes for no reason. Maybe. Biz the genius. There, the might, genius. there might be a BVS poll oh. one time as I gotta, a prize from... From the bin. I got a BVS pull for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Now that you bring it up, Brandon, here. Here you go. Do I get the... Right, right under your feet. Is that the box right no, there? No, it's right under your feet. Is that over no, there part right of the box? Your, yeah, hold on. <laughs> it's right under your feet. Look, there it is right here. Ow! Come on, you better not put my Captain America in the box. Like, <laughs> What are you grabbing? Oh! oh! Look at that. Look at that. A Captain so, America. You can open it. Matter of fact... 
Oh, I can't hear my. I can't hear myself. In my headphones. Well, that's what you get. Because he pulled you out oh, real he fast. Out. No, he We're pulled himself technical out. Technical difficulties, people. All right. So before you leave, Brandon, you got to go through the box no, no, and, right and pull a prize out. Oh, you are. All right, do it. Right what do you What do you see in there that interests you? There's so many things. There's like a little a little green spotted duck. There's a Mario. Ooh, so I'm looking at a Deadpool with some puppies. The some Deadpool puppies. Oh, that just went in there last week and yeah. actually or, la- or a couple weeks ago. That's the Deadpool unicorn selfie. The, yeah, the Deadpool Q fig yeah. selfie unicorn. Oh, Firefly. I don't like and then Firefly. You got a mystery bag from the movie event. I know it's in that mystery bag. Oh, really? Do you? Maybe there's something special. Like a, a predator bobblehead. I'm looking at. I'm gonna give it one more look. Like matter of fact, I'm gonna do look. something while we're doing this. Is have I know it's taking some long time. So Logan, get you a blade and open up that Captain America. Hey, just remember, guys. Ooh. No, no, no. Real fast. Remember, uh, we still have T-shirts for sale. Let's sell these things out. Man. Yes. Hit us up on Facebook, White, on Gmail. Blue, black. White, blue, and black. We have medium, large, extra large, two X. Come on, guys. Help us sell these shirts. The sky blue is my favorite. You know I man? have one. I've been hating on those, but those have been selling. They're so hot. good. They are so good. And you know who I blame that on? Logan. Because he got... What, what's wrong, Brandon? He got a, he got a sky still, blue one of the last batch. That's true. And he was like, oh, I just got it for test. No, it was a hot seller. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. So well, you got you you got your choice there, Brandon. All right. So while he finishes figuring it out, so you I just know- I want to let everybody know that. So we had planned at being at Wizard World Comic Con. Oh, really? In Did Sacramento we? coming up? Oh, really? We we're gonna be out there. They have postponed it for what? How long? Like a, for, like a couple weeks? They postponed it until next year. Come on, man! Bull. I know. I'm putting this back. Oh, well, you know, I'm really glad that we got a press pass for a Comic Con and then it gets pushed hey, back. Man, they'll be there. They'll be there next year. No, I'm we'll not mad at you, year. Logan. I'm not mad at you. I'm a little upset with Wizard World that we can't go in a couple weeks. We have to go in a couple years or whatever it is. But fortunately for uh, us, yeah, on October 20th, we could have met Draco Malfoy. I, bet, I thought you were going to say Drake. No, Draco. Malfoy. <laughs> so Saturday, October twentieth, will be wallet. our next event. Actually, so that's going to be CampbellCon. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're yeah. going to have a we're going to have a big a big presence for that. We're going to kind of go hang out at Wizard World, but we are going to be hosting panels. This we've not really all gone through the whole. I haven't line up to see who's going to be here right now. So I just threw it up on the screen and we're taking a peek. So we got John Campling, who from was Harry a Potter. Death Eater from Harry Potter. Martin Kleba, who is, he's the, what's the appropriate term? Little guy from... <laughs> it's not little guy. What do you say? What is it then? It's, little person, I yeah, think. is Little the, person. Is the, person, person, guy, whatever. Yeah. I'm just saying. So, anyways, he's from, he's the... Pirates he's the, of the From Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. We got Dead Alexis Cruz, chest. who's from Stargate. Okay. What else? Oh, oh wait, Olivia here's the big Hack. one, buddy. Who is oh, it? Dude. Rita Repulsa herself. Oh. I am so steamed. Oh up my for gosh. That. You have no idea. I'm really excited for this. Rita Repulsa. Rita from the she's original looking, the original Power Rangers. She's looking villain. real good. Rita Repulsa. Repulsa. Mm-hmm. And then we VR actually we got troopers. this is gonna be interesting. We got a pile of VR troopers. So it looks yep. like it looks like Rita. Carla Perez was actually oh, in VR yeah. Troopers as a villain as well. So you know what, buddy? Are you going to check out some VR Troopers before? Yeah, I'm going to watch talk to VR Troopers I'm before. Gonna, I'm going to be interested to hear what you think of VR Troopers because compared this is kind of to, yeah, compared to Power Rangers because it was kind of I would not I don't want to say a spinoff or something, but it was kind of they produced it. I would say yeah. like Power Rangers, kind of the way it, like Battle Toads was like Ninja Turtles or something like that. Very similar feel. I'm going to be curious to hear what your opinion is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to start watching you got it. For him. All right. So I'm, I'm reading this Tom Wainer thing. What did you end up picking finally, Go. Oh, I, I grabbed a picture, but it's a picture of something I didn't want. Oh. So I, I kind of cheated. And then so I grabbed the, uh, a Predator bobblehead. That's pretty good. There you go. I like the Predator bobblehead because it reminds me of when I had my dreads. Oh, I like it. Yeah, there yeah. There you go. So, like, we had a similar hairline. Yeah. Well, <laughs> are you going sh- to shave the predator? No, no, no. I'm going to keep it. It, it reminds right. me of when I had my hair. Okay. That oh, was nice. also crazy. This is like a, this is back to the wedding. I'm sorry. Oh, People dear. were like, I guess I forgot. No one 
some people didn't see me <laughs> right until I was oh, yeah. there bald. So sorry, it was I know how you feel. Yeah, I feel it. Like Some people don't see me since I was seventeen. They're like, "Oh my god, you're bald!" Can I donate to that? Yes. You, yeah, yeah, you absolutely can. If I find be... stuff in there, can I? Like, am I in like my vault? Can I just bring it over here and just yes. dump it? Yeah, that, that, that would be fantastic. Because our Hardly Heroes bin is for guests. It's mm-hmm. not for any three of us. It's for guests who come on the <laughs> I show. I promise you, one of them is going to be a full box of comics. And that's oh my gosh, gosh to that's they awesome, just take that. dude. <laughs> They just take the full box. Hector's going to be like, can I come back on the show? I know. Bing! I know. I really, I got to be a guest. I have a lot of things I really yeah. need to talk about. Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, Chris Velasquez is going to be with here, oh, here yeah. with us next week. Oh, no, no, no. I, sorry. That, there's a change. Next week, I'm a guest on the show. Next week, <laughs> I'm the guest. You're the guest? Yeah. No. So Boo. I can get on the prize bin. Boo. Boo. I just... Wah, 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 wah. I love You're that one. Like, so one I, of the very good friends of the show, Chris Velasquez from Violet Films, yeah. is going to be here. So uh, we actually we missed the most recent Colossus Girl Comic Con. Unfortunately, we had someone selfishly had, had a wedding, get married over the top of the con. Bum ass. It wedding. was all right though. It was it wasn't a bad day, but was it? We're it lo- we're looking weird. forward to hearing from Chris because that he has weird. that's where he has his film festival yep. actually, which he told us about a few weeks ago. And that's it where we met him out. for the first time. It was where we met him for the first time, but the fil- the festival filled up so fast the the first time around. I can't wait to hear how successful it was this last time. And he said he's actually got some cool news that he's going to throw out on the airwaves for the first time with us. So it's going to be fun to have Chris back in the studio next week. Violetfilms.com. Awesome. Where can they find us, Goat? Yeah, buddy. Roll uh, like a big no, 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 no. You can find us on, on Facebook. Big. Yeah. You can find us on HarleyHeroes.com. You can find us on Twitter at HarleyHeroes1. You can hi- you can email us at HarleyHeroes at gmail.com. Correct. And you can find us on all your major podcast platforms every Thursday, sometimes Wednesday. Sometimes Friday. Sometimes Friday. Who knows? At Hardly Heroes. At Hardly Heroes. And don't forget to buy those shirts, people. Buy them shirts. Buy Buy that merch. 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 You guys have a good night. Bye. This is a genius.